For the past several weeks, the military has become a crucial element in some of Argentina's poorest areas. This is happening in La Matanza, in Greater Buenos Aires, where people line up in the middle of the streets for food. After a lockdown imposed by the government one month ago to prevent the spread of COVID-19. We are here to guarantee that people have food. This is greatly affected in Greater Buenos Aires because most of them have informal jobs. Zulma González is 60 years old. She says the economic situation is getting worse every day. This is the only decent meal I will have today. I don't have a job, neither does my husband, and we're living on the money the government is giving us. Argentina's economy has been in recession for two years, with poverty and double-digit inflation on the rise. It is also in the middle of tense negotiations with foreign creditors. Last week, the country proposed a 62% cut in interest to the over $80 billion in debt it's trying to restructure, an offer bondholders did not accept. President Alberto Fernandez says that Argentina right now cannot pay any foreign debt because it needs to tend to this country's economic troubles that have worsened because of the spread of COVID-19. And that's why it has asked creditors a three-year grace period to get this country's economy back on track. From now on, this country has one month to pay off its debt, or it will default once again. We know we have a problem to solve. We know the world economy has shifted. Just as we are all united in facing the pandemic, we are united in solving the problem of debt, and even in these adverse circumstances, we continue to propose a solution. Gabriel Rubinstein was part of the negotiations after the default in 2001. He says another one would complicate Argentina's recovery once the crisis of COVID-19 is over. Any recovery with a default would be much slower than without default. Direct investment from companies will have to be careful and safe to invest here, in oil and gas and other industries. Coming out of a default, it could be difficult because bonds could have been sold to other creditors and it may take up to two years to recover. For most Argentines, a foreign debt crisis is like going back in time, a story they have heard over and over again. What's different this time? It's a pandemic that is making Argentina's economic troubles even worse. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.